So let's discuss the solution to this. Now uh, we have the integral. dx over x squared minus 6x plus 11 squared. So the first step that you're supposed to do is to complete the squares for this quadratic part. So solution, complete the squares. For this expression, x squared minus 6x plus 11. I remember if we have a quadratic expression of the form, x squared plus bx plus c, then to complete the square, we simply add b over 2 squared, and then we balance by the value of the constant that remains to ensure that the final answer has the same constant c in the previous uh, expression. This is what I mean. In our current problem, I'll write, so my b in this case is minus six. So minus six divided by two is the same as minus three squared. So I'll write this one as x squared minus six x and then plus minus three squared. So once I do this one, this part will be the same as x minus three squared. But then now I have to remember that my original expression, the constant was 11. Now, if I square minus three, I get nine. So I have x squared minus six x and then plus nine. So for my expression to have the same value as the original expression, then I need to add two so that nine plus two is 11. So therefore I'll have to add two and then I add two. At this point. So once we have that one, then uh, we write this is the same as dx over x minus three squared plus two and then uh, there's a square here. So that's step one, complete the squares. And then step two, substitute. Uh, let you to be given by this part, <coughs> x minus three. So which means the u will be given by the x. And so the integral, the x, x minus three squared plus two squared in terms of u will be integral of the u because the x is the same as the u over u squared plus two and then square. So this is the second step. Now we do the trigonometric substitution. Number three, trigonometric. Substitution. Uh, because we have a variable squared plus a constant or a constant plus a variable square, then it tells us that the best substitution is when we let u to be a tan of theta, where a is given by root two, because this can as well be written as integral of the u over u squared plus square root of two squared and then squared. So u equals to root two over tan theta 
which means that u squared is the same as two times squared theta. And then, so actually let me call this uh, equation one. Uh, which means then u squared plus two is the same as two times squared theta plus two, which is two into tan squared theta plus one. Which is the same as two. Remember this is the same as sec squared theta. You know from the identity cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to one. When you divide through by cos squared theta, cos squared theta, cos squared theta. So you get one plus sine over cos is tan is the same as one over cos is sec. So this is what we have. So u squared, plus two is the same as two sec squared theta, which means that square root of u squared plus two is the same as root two and then sec theta. From which now we can say Uh, from equation one, the u is given by, now when you differentiate tan function, you get sex squared function. So we'll have sex squared theta, the theta. Now, this integral, integral of the u over u squared plus two squared is the same as the integral. So the u is the same as root two sec squared theta d theta divided by, so u squared plus two squared. Now if u squared plus two is two sec squared theta, then the square root is this one, and also uh, when you square, you get four sec power four theta. So four sec power four theta, which will give us square root of root two, and then the theta over four sec squared theta. Cos x squared has gone is one of the sex squared in this denominator. Now, this can be written as root two over four integral of now. This is like one over sec squared theta, the theta, which is root two over four, now one over sec is cos squared theta, the theta. Now, we know that this can be written as square root of two over four, integral of this cos squared is the same as one plus cos of two theta divided by two, and then the theta. So I factor out two, so I get root two over eight integral of one plus cos of two theta and then the theta, which is the same as root two over eight into, now this will be theta and then plus derivative of this one will give me one over two sine of 
to a teacher. And then plus a constant C. But we know that sine two theta is the same as two sine theta cos theta. So which this can be written as root two over eight into theta plus sine of theta and then cosine of theta plus C. So this is the integral of the u over u squared plus two. But you see, we can't leave it in terms of theta. So we have to, remember we said u is the same as root two tan theta. This from question one, we'll call this one two. So this is the same thing as saying tan of theta is the same as u over root two. And uh, then you draw a right angle triangle. So put theta here. So from Oshachota, now Oshachota means sine is opposite of hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent of hypotenuse, tan is opposite of a adjacent. So opposite is u adjacent is root two, and then this squared plus this squared square root will be given by square root of u squared plus two. So from two, actually, uh, this is the result from equation one, uh, from this equation one, and also we can say theta itself is tan inverse of u over root two. So from this right angle triangle, sine theta is the same as opposite, which is u over hypotenuse is u squared plus two, and then cosine of theta is the same as adjacent, which is root two of hypotenuse, square root of u squared plus two. Now, which means sine theta plus cosine of theta is u over square root of u squared plus two times root two over square root of u squared plus two, which will be root two u divided by u squared plus two, because a half plus a half is one. So therefore equation one, uh, therefore one is, therefore these two, two becomes integral of the u over u squared plus two, Uh, remember this is squared, uh, this is a square here. Is given by root two over h into theta is the same as tan inverse of u over two plus now sine theta plus cosine times cosine of theta, we have gotten the answer to be root two u over u squared plus two and then plus c. So which means that our final solution, remember this uh, u is also our own creation. So using 
u equals to x minus three. Uh, if we had called this one now equation four, uh, equation three, three becomes integral of dx over x minus three squared plus two squared is equals to square root of two over eight into tan inverse of x minus three over root two plus root two into x minus three divided by x minus three squared plus two and then plus c so then now when you multiply each term by this factor we get root two over eight term inverse of x minus three over root two plus now this root two times root two will give us positive two so positive two over eight is a quarter so we'll have x minus three over four into x minus three squared plus two and then plus c so that's the required integral dx over x squared minus six x plus 11 squared will be given by square root of two over h tan inverse of x minus three over root two and then plus x minus three divided by four. I remember when you open this one in this denominator x squared minus six x plus 11 and then plus c. So this will be required solution. Thank you.